What's up guys, it's Sultan Hacker here and I just want to start off by saying that I'm sorry for taking a one month break and it's mainly because I was not happy with the content that I was uploading and I took that break to think about what I really wanted to upload and, that, and that's how to videos, that's uh, DIY videos, life hacks and I promise you that I will try my best to upload every Sunday. If not Sundays, it'll be Saturdays or Mondays. It'll probably be it'll it will probably be one day early or one day late. With that being said, welcome to Sultana Hacker. So I don't know if you guys noticed behind me, but I actually for today's video, we're going to be creating a model airplane. Now, this is super easy. Don't be intimidated. And I'm only 15 years old. So, if I can make this, I'm pretty sure you guys can make it too. But before I begin, I just want to say that I am going to be doing a giveaway. Alright guys, so in order, to, in order to enter the giveaway, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to my homepage, Sultanate Hacker, and just click that subscribe button. And that's it. You're already entered into the giveaway. Let's get started with the video. So in order to start this project, what you are going to need is a one inch thick piece of plywood. Now I cut this to size of a six inch by 21 inches. Now your piece of wood doesn't have to be six inches by 21 inches. It could be five inches by 18 inches. We're just using this as the base. The next piece of wood we are going to need is a one half inch piece of plywood. Now, as you can see, this plywood is dirty. You can sand this down. It doesn't really matter because we're just gonna use a little piece of it as part of the tail. What we are also going to need are obviously three hangers. Now, these three hangers, we're going to use two of them for the wings while the third hanger is going to be used as the body of the airplane. We are also going to need a ruler. Now, I didn't have a ruler, so I brought out my level, but you can use a ruler, a tape measure, anything works. We are also going to need is one of these 90 degrees uh, triangles, and we're going to need it to make a perpendicular lines. And this is actually really important if you want your airplane to come out to be straight and looking really neat. We're also going to need some pencils, you know, to make markings on the piece of wood. Now, we're also going to need um, toothpicks. This part is actually optional because I'm just using this for some details for the airplane, but you don't really need this. If you don't want to add toothpicks to yours, you don't have to. What you're going to need next is a hot glue gun. And if, you, if you're going to use a hot glue gun, make sure, make sure you get a bunch of these glue sticks because you're gonna need about three to five glue sticks. All right, so what you're going to need next are a bunch of nails. Now, depending on the size of nails that you're gonna use, you're also going to need that same drill bit just so that it's easier to, to hammer the nails into the hangers. Now, I'm using a 116 drill bit which matches with my 116 nails. You're also going to need one popsicle stick. You're going to need one hammer, You're going to need a drill. You're also, oh snap, oh, whatever. Also, you're going to need a saw. Now, I'm using a circular saw, but you could also use a hacksaw. Lastly, you can use a sander to sand out all the rough edges. All right, so let's begin with the actual building. Now, what we're going to start off with are the three hangers. Now, we're going to make the wings. Now, for the wings, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take two of these hangers and you're going to want to separate this piece, this piece, and this piece. Now, you don't want to break this because this, this part we're going to use later on in the project. You don't need these hooks, so you could just toss them out or you could save them for a future project. Now to begin, I'm going to be taking this hanger and I'm going to separate it into three pieces and I'm going to be using this plier type of multi-tool thing. Kind of 
break this, but I don't know, it's way too tough for me, so instead I'm just gonna cut it. We had to cut it anyway, so what you're going to want to do is, see, if, if this is one of the wings, this part is cut at an angle, so you want this to be perpendicular to the base. So we're gonna use this triangle thing, you know, as I mentioned earlier, and you're gonna wanna make a perpendicular line. So, take your pencil and just make a line, like this. Did that. What you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna cut it with your saw. I came back from cutting this, and you see these splinters, this is what I was talking about. If you wanna go and sand this down with your machine, you could go ahead After rubbing it down, as you can see, I got it pretty smooth. So we're gonna actually take this and we're gonna use it as a template. So we're gonna line it up to this and we're going basically take your pencil and just trace it. I'm going to cut along this line. Now, go ahead and do the same with your other one, other hanger. You could take it and you can make the template. But I found it that it's way easier if you take these rods off first. You pull these out. You can take your hanger, one of your hangers, the one that you're using as a template, and go ahead and trace it on these sides too. Go to the machine and go cut these out. Now, after you have cut your pieces out, you see these, you could do whatever you want with it. You could save it for another DIY project or you could just toss them out. For now, I'm just gonna hang on to it just in case I wanna do other projects. All right, so now that we have our four pieces, what you're going to wanna do is take your sandpaper and just sand out these edges again as I did to the previous template one. four pieces what you want to do is that these nails you just want to pry them out because you don't need these nails I mentioned this before but you also have to do the same you have to take a template and measure this out and make a line here. Sanding down everything. You should be left with six of these airplane wings and body, as well as these three rods. And make sure that these staples that were originally in the hanger are taken out. You're gonna wanna set aside five of your hanger that you just cut and you're gonna want to take one of them and take your ruler so after taking my ruler you're gonna want to measure how long this is so in this case my hanger is about nine inches and what you're gonna want to do is that you're going to want to put in four rods so that these four rods, there's one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here. And we're, we're gonna cut down this rod into smaller pieces. So we're gonna leave, we are going to wanna leave one inch excess on this side. So the rest should be eight inches and one inch. So as you can see, I measured out every two inches. So this is two inches, this is two inches, this is two inches, and this is two inches. Now every two inches we're going to be putting a, in a rod as I said previously so we're going to want to pre-drill holes and we're going to want to do it in the center of this. So take your, take your right triangle and you're going to want to make a perpendicular line for where every two inches are. After we do that you're going to want to find the middle of this. What you're gonna wanna do is, every time you see that intersection right there, that intersection right there, 
that intersection, you got that's the center point of each two inches. So you're gonna want to pre-drill one sixteenth inch or whatever inch, whatever thickness your nail you're gonna be using is, and you're gonna want to pre-drill into these. Pre made these pilot holes into them. What you can do now is you're gonna wanna erase these lines obviously and then use it as a template on this. So when we get to this, you're gonna wanna take two more of these rods. Now, these other two are gonna be for the body of the airplane, so make sure you do not drill pilot holes into two of them. So put these two aside before you drill holes in them. What you wanna do is you wanna bring out your ruler again and you wanna measure this height. So this is the body frame. So you wanna measure this height. So this turned out to be one inch, which means that you wanna cut these rods one inch each. Now I wanna cut eight separate rods that are about this big. And these rods are gonna come in handy to support the wings. All right, now I just went and I cut one of these rods, and I only needed one actually, and I cut it into these small little pieces. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sand this down with a piece of sandpaper. have gone ahead and sanded these down what you're going to want to do is take that same drill bit that you took before the 1 16th in, 1 16th inch in this case and you're going to want to take it and you're going to want to drill it in the middle of these of these uh what do you want to call it um these tiny rods i guess these one inch rods so you're gonna wanna screw, you're gonna wanna make pilot holes in the middle of each rod. So one over here, and it doesn't have to be too deep. It could be like um, a half a centimeter. It doesn't even have to be as deep as we made, as deep as we made these. After you drill the pilot hole into each and every single one of them what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take your hot glue gun and you're going to want to heat it up because as the hot glue gun is warming up what you're going to want to do is set up how the wings should be so you're going to want to take it and you're going to want to arrange it so basically what's going to happen is each one of these is going to be right over here and this is going to be stacked on top so it's going to be one two so we're gonna nail it in as well as using hot glue gun to secure it. So you're gonna wanna take it and you're gonna wanna basically like do that. Take each rod and put it in between each of these. And you got Okay guys, so as you can see, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be taking two of these uh, parts that I did out of the hangers and four of these circular rods. Now for this side, it's the same thing, it just applies, it's like a mirror reflection. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking these 1 16th silver nails and I'm going to be basically putting them through the pilot holes. Now what you want to do is you want to take your hot glue gun and you want to take one of these cylinder rods that we created the 1 inch 
rods. I'm gonna apply some hot glue gun, hot glue, I got hot glue gun. And you wanna basically take it and put it through like so. And you wanna do this for all four of these. So let's get right into it. So this is the upper so as you can see, this is the upper lip of one of the wings. Now, uh, I did make some mistakes and it's not as straight, but it still works. Hopefully your model comes out a lot better than this. So if you want to do the bottom lip, so if you want to do the bottom lip, it's basically the same thing. You just take a nail and you want to put it through the pilot hole that we created, right? Sorry. And then you want to apply hot glue gun under each of e under each one of these one inch cylinders and then you just want to link them together with the nails so you have basically created one of your wings and we are going to add details to it and i'm going to try to finish that little piece off just so that people can't really notice it that much so let's get started on the second wing hoof so this is the down as you can see this is the airplane so, whoops, my bad. So the body is actually going to be in the center and you're gonna have the split ends on the sides. So I'm back here and I just created the two wings for the airplane. So as you can see, this is how one of your wings should look. And this is the other wing. So when you connect it, it should look something like this. Now, these toothpicks, they're gonna help cover up these little imperfections, such as this right here, because, uh, you know, I cut it a little bit too short, like this, and like this, as well as these little nicks that resulted from the hacksaw that I used. So, after your hot glue gun warms up, you're going to want to take that little piece, that toothpick that I was talking about, and this is totally optional. You could leave your airplane the way it is, but what I like to do to cover up those imperfections, put a little drop right there at the tip of the toothpick. And you're just going to want to press it. And just to secure, I'm gonna put a little bit more. After you do that little piece, I wanna take some more toothpicks and create some more diagonals. Now the type of pattern that I'm using is I'm gonna go crisscross like that and then I'm gonna go on the other side and do it the opposite way wow now check that out in my opinion I think that looks pretty good that looks pretty decent so I'm gonna do the same for this wing and that's how this side looks and that's how this one looks now when you combine them that looks pretty epic now I'm gonna Go ahead right now, and I'm gonna put in the middle, the actual body part. And I'm pretty excited to see how that turned out. So it would turn out to be something like that. Now that looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna make the two wings, the two mini that belong over here. That is the reason why we have the 1 8 inch, um, not 1 8 inch, I'm sorry, the 1 half inch plywood so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna make a one inch by one inch isosceles triangle cut two triangles right here from these corners and i have them right here so take the body that you're going to be using what you're going to want to do to attach these wings are you're going to want to take your hot glue gun i'm going to glue them on like this just like that we have the body of the airplane now here comes the fun part where you want to put them all together. So you want to take this and you want to glue. You want to make sure that this top and this top meets up with each other. I'm going to be using glue together like so. And I'm trying to take a little bit of this one and just put it to form like a bond. After your two wings were bonded together, like uh, glued together, you're going to take the body of your airplane you know and make sure about two inches is poking out 
So about two inches should be on this side. You're gonna wanna take it and right at the opposite side, you're gonna wanna put hot glue gun where that marking was. We're gonna put the propeller on. The popsicle stick, what you're going to wanna do is obviously we're gonna hot glue this down. But this is how the propeller should end up looking like. Now that we've created our airplane, now we have to create the base, which is where it's gonna be sitting on. So as I said before, I'm going to be using this pressure treated uh, wood and it's six inches by 21 inches and the thickness is one inch but I think this piece of wood uh, turned out to be really long like I don't think I needed that much so instead I'm gonna cut it by to 15 by six inches I just went and I sanded down I actually ended up sanding down the base and I also cut it as I said I uh, it's 15 inches by six inches take your model airplane now, what you want to do is you want to center your airplane in the middle of the base. All right, so what I'm going to do next is pretty simple. So after you've marked down your little intersections, what you're going to want to do is, is what I'm going to do is I want to put it up at an angle. But if you don't want to buy a steel rod for like a dollar from the hardware store, you can just glue it down with a hot glue gun but bought a long piece of steel rod and I cut it down to about two inches. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna place it on the bottom of this so that it pivots up, not pivots, my bad, so that it stands up. You're gonna wanna take the drill bit, my drill bit actually broke, the same thickness of your steel rod and you're gonna wanna drill a hole on the bottom of this airplane and on the board. As you can see, I drilled a hole on the bottom of the airplane body as well as the base. Going to want to take your hot glue gun and you're gonna wanna place a little bit of the hot glue into the hole that you did into the base. After you've done that, quickly take the metal rod and place it inside that hole. If you want, you could take a hammer and just hammer it in a little and after that's dried up you're going to want to place your airplane on top of the steel rod and make sure it meets that hole that you did within the airplane for this bottom piece right here you're gonna want to match it up to the center and take your pencil or marker or whatever and mark the bottom this ending right here you're going to want to take your hot glue gun again and you're going to want to put it in this hole that you've created on the base and also on this bottom see now after all of the hot glue gun has dried for additional support what you can do is you can add a couple of more rods against the bottom of this airplane this airplane seems to be pretty sturdy as you can see so I'm not gonna do that but if anyone does apply pressure onto these wings it is going to break and now we are officially done with this model airplane As you guys can see, it was super simple to build this model airplane. Now, I just want to talk about next week's video. Uh, I realized that next week on Sultimate Sunday, it is going to be Christmas. So a lot of you guys are going to be busy. Plus, my next video relates to like gifts and um, holidays. So I am going to be uploading that video on Saturday, early Saturday morning. For this video, please don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment below. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I am doing a giveaway and the only thing you have to do to enter that giveaway is stay subscribed and leave a comment below what type of video you want me to make. So I'll see you guys next Saturday.